Hey guys, uh, this is me here today, and uh, in just a moment here, we'll be starting up this application. It should be on its way. Maybe it's not on its way. I thought I told it it's on its way. Hey, 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 it's on its way. Right, computer? Anyway, in just a moment here, uh, we'll have the application started up. Started right up. I don't know what it thinks it's doing. Here we go. Here's the application started right up. So I was asked this question where basically somebody took a building. Let's who knows what kind of building. Let's say I took the pocket factory and I just customized it a little bit. I don't even know what we did. Uh, this is just for the sake of example. So let's just see here. But we're gonna get rid of whatever this is. Okay, great. So yeah, it's like suppose I took this and I customized it a little bit and I built some kind of custom building out of this and I don't really know what that custom building would be, uh, but let's just, it's a hypothesis hypothetical here, right? Here's like a centaur tent and we'll put that in our building. I mean, it's just like purely for the sake of example. Uh, yeah, we'll just put this like over top of that. I don't know. And then like, uh, you know, one of these maybe. Um, on top of that. So we got some kind of custom building. I don't, I don't know. It, it could be any kind of custom building, right? could be anything. So here's our custom building. And this guy said, well, what we did with our custom building is, uh, how do you orient this? Was it like that? Yeah, I think it's like that. No, that's not right. It's like that. Yeah, here's our custom building. Okay, I think this is the front. So he took the custom building and he said, all right, that's pretty good, but we want to have a peasant on it. So then he went and he fetched up like a peasant and he said, okay, here's a peasant. We'll get all the nodes, we'll get everything in the peasant, and we'll just drag them off to the side, and then we'll go back to our building and we import the peasant into the building, right? And this is kind of interesting because he's going to have some kind of animation in the building. Who knows what that's going to be? But I mean, basically, and of course, this peasant's too complicated. Really, all we care about is the bulk of his body so what is that it's like one and two and not three not four and five is included one two five looks like no, not five yeah not five okay one and two just geosets one we'll leave everything except geosets one and two this is just an example right so i'm just it's a hypothetical here uh and let's say he's got some kind of peasanty animation so he's going to just always do stand work in all the animations and uh, that's all we care about for this today. So we're just going to import his peasant bones, and we're going to have his visibility match the visibility of part one of the Tinker Factory. Okay, great. So I do that, and we should be able to go back to our little Tinker Factory thing here, right? And generally, the premise here makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, this is, our, this is our little peasant over here, and he's going to be... He's going to be like right there uh, on top of this building, like on one of the roofs. It doesn't matter. This is just an example, and I'll explain why this matters in a second here. So here's the peasant. He's on the little roof. And the important thing is he's animated, right? So he's doing a little stand work on the roof over there, right? I don't know. That looks kind of dumb. Let's say he's on the back of the roof. Maybe that makes a little bit more sense. So he's in here under the roof of our custom building, and he's doing stand work. So we got, we got a custom building, and it looks pretty good. We got a little guy in it. Now, obviously, we're probably actually going to want to be able to see the guy right now. We can't, so I'm sure, you know, we'll do some manner of tweaking of this mesh, probably. Uh, however you do that, you know, is up to you. But, yeah, you get something like this. We find out, hey, this would look better if we did it differently. Uh, somebody does that. We end up deciding to do it differently. Here's the whole thing. So then we have to uh, move it over here, maybe. I'm just trying to get something that doesn't look really stupid. Okay, that does look really stupid, but actually, I don't care. So here's our peasant. We have a peasant, need, uh, you know, everything else aside. He's a peasant, he's working. I don't know why that particle emitter's messed up. We'll fix that later. Uh, but for now, let's say this is an example file here. So this is just going to be my building. And let's say I have my building, and who knows what exactly it is, but. It's a custom building and it's pretty good and it involves a, a unit that looks like he's doing some working. The question to me was, can I take the guy on this building and now I've changed my mind, I meant for it to be a peon, not a peasant. But let's say he's got custom animation set up, we like the stand work that he's doing, 
Maybe he's doing stand work at an angle, right? That's pretty hard to do. Let's see if we can make him do that. Um, that's pretty hard. So, yeah, we're just going to grab the peasant right like that, and we're going to rotate him. So stand work at an angle. See? That's a bad idea. It doesn't look very good. But, actually, it doesn't look that bad right now either. So we're going to leave it. And here's the thing. He's got customized animations. And let's decide, I really like this animation. I want to keep it. But I want him to be a peon. Right? So we'll click Save. And now let's take a look at a peon. Let's think about what we're going to do. And I'm going to tell you, yes, yes, you can totally do this. Uh, with a couple of caveats here. First caveat, uh, you probably want the pickaxe to be in the same hand. So we're going to put that over here. And we're going to mirror X on that. So the peons in the, the pickaxe is in the peon's other hand. Uh, actually, yeah. So then we do that. So we should be able to get uh, node chest. Uh, yeah, that should be good, actually. Yeah, we'll just put the peon's axe in his other hand. So we do that. Now what we want to do is we're going to go back to this fancy model here. And we're going to import the peon over top of the peasant. And then we're going to delete the peasant. So let's begin. What you do for that is just to import from workspace. Just choose a peon. So we know we got the peon. Uh, make sure you get the right geometry. So in this case, like we, we only want his main body. We don't want the gold bags or any of that other stuff. So just one and two is all we need. So we just leave everything from the peon except one and two. Now we've got one and two. Now we don't need any of his animations. We're just we don't need any of his bones. Just leave all. We're just going to stick them on the peasant bones that already exist. So for that, uh, you can see here is our list of peasant bones. We do this in the matrices tab. This is how it links together. So for example, uh, chest arm one over here, you just build the same uh, build the same thing. If you have problems, like you don't know if it's, if it's arm up left or right, then import the bones again, reset the matrices just temporarily, and then view these parent names of what used to be. So that way I can see like, okay, Chest arm 1L matches up here. Uh, leg 1L chest. That matches up here. Leg 1L chest. And just try to make these match up, right? Leg 1L, leg 1R. But notably, I'm, I'm putting the peasant ones to match to what used to be the peon ones, right? And you can do this, and this should this should get her done. Uh, once we get, It's a little bit tedious. you got to rewrite all the matrices on here to be the same. But when it's done, it's like magic. It'll do what you need. So we get that. Uh, we get arm 1 R over here. Arm 1 R. Arm 1 R, arm 2 R. Okay. Arm 1 L. Arm 1 L. Arm 1 L, arm 2 L. So we're just building the same. Now, you might also wonder why am I not deleting? Why am I not deleting from these, these matrices the original list? Because I'm building a new list that matches the previous list but I'm not deleting the original. That's pretty weird. Actually, you do want to delete the original. I'm just keeping it there for the sake of thought. Also, the original will be automatically removed at the end if we go ahead and tell this thing not to import the bones. We're just keeping it there to help us look at what used to exist. So ultimately, uh, that will be something else we can do that's going to help us out. Uh, so here's the axe handle. Notably, this used to be hand right. Now we're going to put it on axe handle hand left because the axe handle is in the left hand of the peasant, but that's fine. Um, we, we moved the axis mesh specifically for that purpose. Uh, leg 2R. I'm leaving them again. Like I said, I'll show you what we'll do with that. But we're going to, it's effectively, it's going to be like we did in the other section. Uh, let's see, leg 1R, leg 2R, leg 2R, foot R, uh, leg 2L, leg 2L, leg 1L, leg 2L. Like 2L foot L. So maybe this could be changed to be done automatically, uh, but currently it's just not. So you just got to do it by yourself. Uh, it's just kind of how it is. Also, you can tell there's there's different layering going on with this. Arm R axe handle. That's not good. Okay, this having been the right hand, now is going to be hand R because I think that would have been his hand. All right, uh, foot left. Because it's the, it's the combined both. I don't think anything in the axe is both. So I think it has to be his foot. Okay, foot right, foot right, right there. Uh, leg one R, leg one R, uh, leg one R. Chest. Make sure you keep them in the same order. Uh, I'm kidding. Actually, 
for years. For years, I believed you needed to keep them in the same order. I actually think it might not matter uh, in retrospect, having, having learned a lot more since then. But I like to keep them in the same order. You know, it seems uh, it, just, it just seems more natural that way. All right, uh, hand left, hand left, arm two L, hand L, arm two L, hand L, arm one L, arm two L, and arm two L. So now, as we can see, we still have the peons mesh now is attached to the peon and peasant both. That's going to make horrible animations. So we got to go back to the bones tab, click leave all, get rid of the peon animation bones entirely. And now we just have a peon who we've mapped to be animated with the bones of the peasant. No new bones. No new animations, no new bones. And that's what we want that to be. We can leave all on these portions uh, and just set the visibility of our peon mesh to match Geoset 1, which is usually a good default. So we do that. Um, now you'll see the peon appear in Hero Tinker Factory. Uh, notably, where the peon appeared, there's no new mesh, right? It's just a, just straight up the peon. Uh, now what we can do is we can just select him right there, right like that. And now, uh, just drag him on up and put him in position where the peasant used to be. And notably, he's going to be using the peasant's animation nodes, so you want to try to line him up as much as you possibly can, right? Uh, let's let's even check it in the 3D display. They're clearly getting pretty similar there. Uh, looks like maybe the peon is a little bit bigger. We could try to like shrink it and see if it maps exactly. And you could spend as much time as you like trying to get them to map on there uh, as exactly as you would like. But now if I turn off nodes, well that also turned off uh, peasant. So basically, here's the peon. Uh, I was thinking of more complicated things. Here's the peasant. You just select the peasant and delete him. And now if you go back to your viewer tab, you can see the peon is animating like the peasant, all except for the fact that his right hand has a problem. And we can fix this problem. There's a tweaking tool for that. So you bring his, you bring his mesh back up here. Uh, and you can see, if you look at part of this right hand, actually maybe if we just select by group here, you can see his right hand and the axe are in the same group. And we don't want that. So go back to face select where you can deselect the axe. Then with only the right hand selected, uh, just reassign that guy. Uh, in fact, actually, this might be better done as vertex mode. Uh, see, the problem here is, well, I'll show you the problem. Uh, we can reassign the hand to be hand right. And that makes a lot of sense, right? And you think that, that'll kind of fix him for a second. But let's slow down this animation, okay? Note, I fixed his hand, but now it's tearing because I fixed it at the seam which you don't actually want to do. So we need to fix the seam, right? And we can do that. Just select the seam of the hand. And notably, the seam is made of two parts. If I do an, a select expansion from below, you can see there are two vertices in each point of the seam. But we're going to assign those together so that they don't tear. And we're going to assign them to be the sum of his right hand and his arm 2R. So we get a good a good sum motion there on that seam. And suddenly he goes back to looking like his hand is much more reasonable. He's retained those peasants' exact animations, but now we've put a peon in place of where we put a peasant. So this was ultimately the question I was asked. If you have uh, like a sub-model in a model that has a custom animation set and you need to replace that sub-model within a model, how do you do it uh, with a new mesh using the animations of the previous sub-model? And this is how you do that. It's totally doable. I'm just a little bit sad that the particle emitter previewer is broken on that emitter and using the wrong texture. But I'm pretty sure uh, that's probably like a bug not in the model. I'll bet if we save this model as my building 2 and we open my building 2, the particle's fine. It's just the previewer that's messed up there. So yeah, there you go. Um, and that is how you do that. And I hope you guys have a good one.